Hey, me again with another update on my uh, Soros regime that some of you have expressed interest in buying. Uh, please ignore the splotchy paint job. On this model I forgot to prime it before uh, spray painting it. Um, so let me give you a tour of it. I've, I modeled it so that the entire thing comes apart. And yes, some of you have asked if the little antenna part is including it included. Yes, it is. So all the parts are going to be held on with super magnets unless you just want to glue them together. Um, scope comes off. It's hollow inside and the uh, wall that makes up the screen is very thin. Uh, most importantly is that, hang on, it's a snug fit, that comes off and there is a uh, big open compartment I put on the inside so that you can put batteries and the batteries Here's what the batteries are for. Um, I made it so that you can put LEDs inside it because I'm casting the guns out of a clear plastic. I might get something that's clearer than this. This isn't quite as clear as I wanted. And um, because in the gun, on the gun in the game, uh, these little tick marks actually glow blue, so I made that part, I made the uh, shell on that especially thin so that LEDs can easily shine through and there's a big open space for you to fit the LEDs. And um, also, like I said, the uh, scope part is hollow and uh, so you can put something inside. Um, in the clear version, the light will shine through very easily. So, right now I'm selling these for the pre-order price of uh, 150. Un for if you get it unpainted, it's 150, and painted, it's 220. Um, and uh, right now I'm selling it for that price until I finish all of the uh, molds for the parts. There's like nine parts total and I still need to make uh, just two of the molds for two of the parts. Um, yeah, and uh, I need to buy more silicone, so that's why I'm offering it for the lower price. And uh, I just want something I want to say about this prop. Uh, the details came out pretty nice, I think. Um, and the tick marks, I had to hand sculpt the tick marks because uh, it just didn't print very cleanly and uh, the knob on the other side. Uh, this is the first prop, this is the first prop that I 3D modeled, printed, sanded, primed, sanded again and primed again and molded and cast. So I'm pretty proud of it. Um, I think I, since I made up my mind to do prop making full time, I feel like this is sort of my debut prop and I hope that with it I've uh, established for myself a good standard of quality that I will only improve upon. And I do plan to make and sell more guns from Destiny and also Borderlands, so if you're interested in one, um, uh, Message me with any questions. Uh, I don't know what else to say. Buy it. 
pre-order one. I need more silicone and that stuff is expensive. And oh yeah, um, after the after I finish the molds, the pre-order price is ended and I will then be selling them for um, like 175 unpainted and 245 painted. Um, yeah, I uh, my friend Brianna is going to be the one painting it, she, painting these. She's very talented and uh, she's my biggest supporter. Thank you, Brianna, for cheering for me, believing in me that I could do this. That's that's all I gotta say. <laughs> Order one.